Today we're going to find out what's inside this $4,000 Funko collection that just rolled in. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So first things first, it's Saturday and we are actually not going to be doing a mystery box or Funko Soda dual battle today. So Joanna unfortunately has had a little bit of a rough week. She actually had a routine procedure done earlier in the week that she just has to do every single year. A lot of people have reached out and checked in on her and asked if she's doing okay. She is doing much better than she was in the beginning of the week. However, she just doesn't feel up to snuff to step in front of a camera and you know film a video and do all that kind of stuff. So today I thought it would be a perfect opportunity because this collection actually just got delivered two hours ago. It is a four thousand dollar pop collection that just rolled in and I know some people have been asking for when the next big pop haul video was going to be well here we are we're going to do it today and it is a perfect day to do it because we actually have a mystery box dropping tonight on our new website slapshoppops.com at 9 p.m eastern only 30 dollars a box guaranteed value there's 50 boxes in the run and the top hit actually I'm gonna show you guys the top hit. So let's step out of the studio here. This is some of the pops that just came in. I'm gonna give you a full breakdown of every single one that just came in the collection in just a minute. Joanna is over there. Say hi to the people. Hi, people. <laughs> uh, she's working on some stuff. And uh, oh, actually, really quick, you guys can see our collection room is a mess. We're in the process of packing. It's just absolute craziness right now. So um, coming over here. Oh, look at that, Alex is here. Alex. Say hi to the people. Hello. He said hi in spirit. But we actually have the mystery box all laid out, ready to go for tonight. These are all the different box combinations and everything. By the time this video drops, these boxes will have already been packed and ready to go for the drop on our website tonight. And we have some really great top hits that I want to show off. We have this GameStop exclusive Master Chief with Energy Sword. All of the pops right here that are singles, they will have an additional pop in the box. But here is... The beautiful top hit Freddy Funko as Bumblebee, limited to 2,397 pieces. We also have some other great Freddies in the run, like this Surf's Up Freddy Batman. Absolutely amazing right here. We also have the Funimation exclusive Flocked Beerus. That's another great top hit. And then we have the San Diego Comic-Con Superman Conan. Here is another great Freddy 2000 piece, Freddy Funko as Freddy Mercury, little Freddyception there. But if you don't get one of the top hit, there's some really good box combinations. Like right here, somebody's gonna pull the flocked Hello Kitty along with Ang, the shared sticker. And I mean, that's a $25 pop right there on its own. So there's a lot of really good box combinations right here. We have Michelangelo with the surfboard. He's gonna come with Arnold from Happy Days. Right here is the Heath Ledger Joker. He's gonna come with Joni from the Happy Days line right there. We also have Espeon, the flocked one. Here is Sully. Let's see what Sully's gonna come with. Ooh, the Joker King right there. Lots of great box combinations. Thank you to everybody who's been supporting us over on our brand new website. We actually have our garage divided in half. So all the pops over there are for the website. All the pops and sodas over here are for whatnot. But enough about that. Let's get into the $4,000 collection haul. Okay, so for wave number one right here, we actually have a mixture of some ad icons, some games pops, DC, and movies. Oh, we even have a couple uh, retro toys as well down here. So I have the silver Mr. Monopoly as well as She-Ra. Then we have the Xenomorph from Alien, Draco Malfoy, as well as Nelville Longbottom. Then we have the Hot Topic Scarefare, Michael Behind Hedge. Then there's Hannibal, Key Demon, and then look at this Drummer McNugget with the little itty bitty virtual Funkon Con sticker. Moving on up, we have the Tapatio Man next to Peacemaker, making the peace sign. Then you have the Joker from the Arkham Asylum line, a Diamond Aquaman from Aquaman and the Last Kingdom. Did anybody see that movie? Was it decent? I feel like uh, I didn't hear anything about it. Then we have Batwoman from the Bombshells line. This super cool Batman Beyond. I believe this one was the one with the 
Invisible Chase, if I'm remembering correctly. Then we have Superman Red. We have one of many NFT pops you'll see in today's video. This is the 1800 piece Bumblebee from the Teen Titans Go line, super cool. Then we have Illidan from World of Warcraft. Up here we have Miss Pac-Man, super cool. Followed by Geralt from Witcher. Then we have Count Chocula with the cereal bowl. The Diamond Energizer Bunny. Smaxy the Seal, which I actually think is really cool and unique. It doesn't get enough love. But check out this one. We have back-to-back -back Flock Pops, actually. The Flocked Toucan Sam. How amazing is that? I believe that's the first Toucan Sam since that giant metallic grail that dropped all those years back. And then we have the Flocked Chase Hollywood exclusive Chester Cheetah, Cheetah excuse me. And he has the Jalapeno Cheetos, pretty awesome. Diamond Energizer Bunny, this is a second one? Yeah, it is, second Diamond Energizer Bunny. Then we have Tony the Tiger on the surfboard. Up here is the super cute Polaroid camera, followed up by Boo Berry with the cereal bowl. And then check out this beautiful grail right here. 2,500 piece, yummy mummy. Oh, such a cool one. Then we have Cornelius limited to 1,640 pieces, a great NFT pop right here. I think they came out with a similar version of this one, so I know some people were upset. I can't recall. I think the mold is a little different. Then we have the Funko Shop exclusive Sunny the Cuckoo, also a brilliant OG ad icon right there. Look at that, only number nine in the ad icon line, while Yummy Mummy is number seven. Then coming over, over here, we have the Boo Berry cereal box. I gotta say, I prefer the actual ad icon over the cereal box, but I do know some people really do like the cereal box pops. Then we have the 90s Coca-Cola Polar Bear, followed up by Fred Flintstone with the bowl of Fruity Pebbles. So pretty awesome here for wave number one, but Let's see what's in store for wave number two. And here we go with wave two. We have some sports pops. We also have some mascots as well as some movies, TV, and animation. So coming on down here, we have from the House of the Dragon line, we have Damien Targaryen as well as Renya Targaryen. I'm probably saying that wrong. And then we have a pair of Daenerys Targaryens, and these are from Game of Thrones. This one is really cool. We got to fix her, of course, but she's got that little dragon there on her arm. Then we have the Hound from Game of Thrones, as well as Yara Greyjoy. Hopefully I said that somewhat correct. Then we have the really cool flocked classic Hello Kitty. I absolutely love that pink Amazon exclusive sticker. Then we have the PX Previews exclusive Casey Jones from the Turtles line, followed up by Garfield with the Cauldron. That was a New York Comic Con exclusive from last year. New York Comic Con exclusive from 2022. We have Raphael dressed up here as the Red Ranger. Then look at this one, we have Eddie Munster, and I think this one's gonna be staying here in our collection because he's got a little buddy there. Super freaking cute. Then we also have the George Jetson NFT. This one was limited to 1,635 pieces. Next up, we have the Space Ghost. Absolutely love this pop, so freaking cool. Then we have the 25th anniversary of the Year of Fun, all Might, all silver All Might right there. Then the gold chrome Toy Tokyo San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Super Saiyan Vegeta, followed up by Tony Tony Chopper. Then now moving into some sports pops, we have Rocky, the Funko Shop exclusive, followed up by Butch T. Cougar. And yes, I made the mistake a while back. That actually is The Rock. Found out from this exact pop that that was in fact The Rock's first name there. Then we have the Walmart exclusive Michael Jordan, followed up by the Hollywood exclusive Megan Rapinoe. Then we have the all-star dunking Michael Jordan. Absolutely love that one. Here is Dude Love. Here is the regular version of The Rock. This is the 25th anniversary Entertainment Earth exclusive one where he's holding the belt. Very cool. Now moving into some mascot pops from last year's Camp Fun Days. We have the regular Proto Moa Wolves, Funamuk Bears, and the Chesapeake Eagles. So three out of four, not bad. 
Then we have this really cool T-Bone original Funko character right here. Then moving on up to the top row, we have the gorgeous flocked Barnes and Noble exclusive Cat in the Hat. We actually forgot to mention in the video that we pulled him that he's actually flocked. So the regular version is not flocked while the Barnes and Noble exclusive is. Then we have Douglas from the Around the World line. He proudly represents Canada. A lot of great friends up there in Canada. So shout out to all the amazing collectors up there. Then we have some mascot pops from 2022 San Diego Comic Con. This is the Blacklight Pop Protectors, followed up by the Blacklight Proto Robo. So you can see from 2022, they actually upped the piece count for the regular ones to 6,500 from 6,250. Then check out this beautiful piece from San Diego Comic-Con 2015. We have a pretty hard to find grail right here, Zombie Conan. They actually used to come out with a wave of Conan Pops for every San Diego Comic-Con. They stopped doing it, unfortunately, because Conan no longer has the show. But this is actually from the original wave of Conan Pops, and it's absolutely amazing. Then we have the HQ exclusive Flocked Bigfoot, uh, Big Bigfoot with the marshmallow on his stick there. Love that one. Then we have the Funko Field 5,000 piece Webley in the Frogs jersey. There's actually a Webley soda that's going to be given away this year at another Aqua Sox game. And then we actually have a sign pop right here. This is Sabido signed by Matt Middleton. And this is a seven bucks a pop signature series exclusive middleman, excuse me. And he's limited to 140 pieces. We actually did a little bit of research on him. And not only is he the voice actor for Sabito here, he's actually pretty well known for some of the characters that he's voiced over for One Punch Man. So pretty cool to see these uh, actors lending their voices to multiple animes. And then rounding out this wave, we have a mascot pop from last year's Heavy Metal Halloween, limited to 6,000 pieces. We have my personal favorite from the full or Phil D. Graves. So pretty awesome wave right here, but we got two more killer waves left that you guys are definitely gonna wanna check out. All right, so this third wave is a little smaller, but that's because the next wave is pretty legendary. So here we go. In this wave, we have Marvel, Disney, and Rocks. Starting out with the Target exclusive Blacklight Captain America. That's the Sam Wilson version. Then we have the Hot Topic exclusive Carnage, Marvel Collector Core Aisha from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Then we have the classic Chadwick Boseman Black Panther from the first Black Panther movie, followed up by the comic book Falcon. I absolutely love this pop. I don't think it has a ton of value, but I just think it's really cool. You know, throwback to Sam Wilson's first appearance in the comics. Followed up by the original, look at that sticker, original Marvel Collector Core exclusive Jane Foster Secret Wars Thor. This one skyrocketed in value with all the hype leading up to Thor 4. Uh, Love and Thunder, and um, I think it fell in value just as hard because that movie did not do well. Then we have the Hot Topic Diamond exclusive Super Cute Christmas Mickey Mouse, followed up by Purple Dave from Despicable Me 2. Believe it or not, these Minions Pops, we like never see them anymore. So pretty cool to see that one. Then we have the High Evolutionary from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. He was a fantastic villain. I thoroughly enjoyed that film. Then we have T'Challa Star-Lord from What If, followed up by Korg, Loki in his TVA outfit here from Season 1. Then we have Woody from Toy Story, as well as Walt Disney holding the tiny little plushes of Dumbo and Timothy. How adorable is that? Such a great pop. That is... Probably the best Disney 100 pop they ever came out with. Then we have the Artist Series Amazon exclusive Pinocchio. Followed up by Vivian Campbell from Def Leppard. Joey Ramone from, um, he's from the Ramones, right? Then we have the Diamond exclusive Whitney Houston. This one is with the special edition sticker. Then up here we have yet another NFT. And this is the Seventh Son Eddie, limited to 1,620 pieces from Iron Maiden. Then we have some really cool Disney pops. This is the original Cherie Khan. And this is, what year is this? 2014, right? 2014 on this one. And I actually want to show off the back here. Series 6, classic Disney characters right here. You have Mowgli, Ka, and Shuri Khan. You don't see 
these pops too often, even though they don't have a ton of value. It's our first time ever getting this specific one in a collection. So pretty cool to see that. Next up, we have a big grail. This is the Jiminy Cricket, original Jiminy Cricket from Disney Series 1. And it does have the rarer, harder to find Disney store logo. So that red logo as opposed to the blue logo definitely makes a difference. Actually, what's the year on this? 2012, 2012 Jiminy Cricket. I don't know, that might be a contender for something we possibly keep. I don't know, I have to check with Joanna and see how she's feeling. I know that one's pretty pricey. This one, on the other hand, is not very expensive, and I was absolutely shocked. This one has the con sticker from 2015 San Diego Comic-Con. This is Olaf, and he does have the little buddy in there. Look at that super cute little pigeon. Unfortunately, you can't see him too much behind the sticker, but this pop from the legendary movie Frozen here. Super, super cute. And I could not believe the value on this. Only like $29 or something ridiculously low. So hopefully this is one that Joanna wants to keep because of how cute it is. I know how much she loves the pops with the little buddies and it's not very expensive. So, and then the last pop we have right here is the Funko Shop exclusive Dumbo on the Circus Train attraction. So, pretty cool rave right here or wave right here we have some really awesome disney marvel and rocks pops but guys the next wave is all freddy's how beautiful is this i think this is the most freddy funko pops that we've ever gotten before in one collection so let's break them down let's get a closer look starting off with the 5000 piece atomic freddy then we have Russell, limited to 4,000 pieces. The Funko Shop exclusive, Skiing Freddy. And then, I can't believe this, we have the non-metallic and metallic versions of Freddy Funko as Megatron. I'm laughing because one of my good friends, Josh, who I was just talking to the other day, he actually offered to uh, work out a deal for one of the Freddy Funko as Megatrons. I can't remember if I have this one in my collection or not because... Part of our Freddy collection is already packed up and ready for the next house. Then we have Freddy Funko as Peacemaker, 5,000 piece. Look at this one, 2,000 piece teal robot Freddy from 2018 San Diego Comic-Con. That is a beautiful one. I don't think a lot of people know about that one, so pretty cool that we got that one in, followed up by the classic Birthday Freddy. Then moving on up here, we have the 2,000-piece Macho Man Randy Savage, followed up by the 5,000-piece Mysterio, and then we have a trio of Freddy Bones from Heavy Metal Halloween, last year's New York Comic Con theme. So here is the black and white one, followed up by the glow in the dark one, and then the regular shared exclusive blue one. So pretty cool to see three different versions of Freddy Bones. Absolutely love the mold, especially how they did Freddy's face as the mask on the side of him. Whoever designed that definitely deserves a raise. Then we have Storm Shadow, limited to 3,000 pieces. The Freddy Funk Club, followed up by Teen Wolf, limited to 3,000 pieces from 2021 Fun Days. Here is the creature from the Black Lagoon. Absolutely love that mold. Then we have Floaty Freddy, where he's got the little Nessie there. The Loch Ness Monster as the pool floaty. Love that one. 4,000 piece Tron. This is the 4,500 piece number five from Umbrella Academy. 10,000 piece Freddy Zombie. Fun on the run, Freddy. I actually like this one, you know? It actually says in cursive on his uh, little shirt there. It says Freddy. It's simple, yet amazing. 4,000 piece Snake Eyes. Check this one out. Funko Shop exclusive Football Freddy. And they've actually done a couple Football Freddies. I actually have my, uh, my Emerald City Comic Con one over here. Absolutely love this one. Took me years to track that one down. 250 pieces, but you gotta love the classic one. I don't think it's worth a whole heck of a lot, but super cool to see. Then we have the 10,000 piece Freddy Spirit. Aqua Socks HQ exclusive Freddy. Love that one. Nice little baseball Freddy right there. This one is super cool. I believe there's a glow version of this as well. 3,000 piece spooky space kook. Look at the mold on that. The design is absolutely legendary based on the classic villain from Scooby-Doo. 
Really, really love that one. If I didn't already have this one, I would be keeping this for the collection. And then, oh my gosh, what are the odds? We got a glow in the dark, 4,000 piece Green Ranger. I literally just picked this one up for Joanna's collection for her birthday. And then lo and behold, we get it in a collection. The glow on this is beautiful though. And then uh, what's really unique about this one is actually the crown is green and it glows in the dark as well. So once again, whoever designed that one, really good job. Kudos to them. And then rounding out the Freddies and this $4,000 collection, we have the 2,500 piece NFT High Elf Wizard Freddy from Dungeons and Dragons. The detail on this one is absolutely amazing. Super cool to see that. But overall, just really awesome to get this many Freddies in one collection. But guys, we'll see you back in the chair in just a sec. Well guys, I really hope you enjoyed this massive collection haul. This is definitely something that I wanna do more of here on the channel, especially with a lot of collections coming in practically every single week now. So it just, it takes a little time to uh, figure out when to do these collection hauls. And I definitely can't do it without the support of Joanna, who is at the moment furiously running back and forth and PPGing pops and sorting pops based on condition and everything, popping them out of her protectors. So I definitely could not do any of this without her legwork behind the scenes. So she's literally laughing right now at me as I film this. But guys, I just want to say thank you so much for all the support with our new website launch. Tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern will be Mystery Box Volume 3, as well as some other pops and soda chases hitting the site. So if you're interested in any of the items going up, make sure you're on the website slapshotpops.com right at 9 p.m. Eastern, because like we saw last week, some stuff sold out very quickly, including the Mystery Box. So thank you guys for two very successful sellouts for volume one and volume two. If you guys do end up picking up a box, if you have a YouTube channel, a TikTok, um, or maybe you just have an Instagram page, you don't post content, um, you know, tag us in your polls and everything. We'd love to see what everybody gets. Joanna and I are priding ourselves on giving you guys the best possible mystery boxes that we can put together. Everything will be in protectors. Everything will be near mint to mint condition and everything will be relatively well over the promised value. And we've been doing mystery boxes for quite some time here on the channel. I think we know enough about mystery boxes to give you guys the best possible experience and to give you guys the opportunity at owning stuff for your collection that maybe you would never buy outright for your collection. So with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to smash that like button on your way out. Let me know down in the comment section below, what was your favorite pop from this entire haul? And I promise that Joanna will be back soon and uh, we'll have plenty more battles here on the channel. So as always, don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you guys very soon. Oh,